Okay guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, uh, welcome to my ongoing uh, detailed uh, tutorial or detailed uh, engineering of circulating air handling unit. What I have here is my recirculating air handling unit. Let me go to the full screen. Okay. Now guys, uh, the scope of today's video is to simulate uh, to you the uh, initial startup of this recirculating air handling unit. Okay. Now, uh, I'm using here, uh, if you are following this tutorial, actually in my previous tutorial for fresh air handling unit, I'm using the same control and monitoring points plus additional some field devices. Okay, because as you can see in our uh, Rahu graphics, we have two funds, supply, supply and return fund. Okay, then with the addition of several, actually there are five uh, dumpers. Okay, now this, uh, this is my supply air dumper. This is an open closed dumper. Now the other four, this return air, mixed air, exhaust air, and outside air or fresh air are modulating type. When I say modulating type, this valve, uh, this damper will open from zero to 100% open, okay? So, yeah, because uh, in the sequence of operation that I'm trying to follow is there will there is a, a free cooling mode. When I say free cooling mode, uh, we will be utilizing the outside air temperature for cooling the uh, space being served by the air handling unit. Okay. Now in, uh, in the Middle East or in some other countries during winter, uh, the outside air is sufficient enough to cool the air. I mean to cool the room. Okay. Now in Qatar when I was there during that was I think 2008, uh, uh, in the month of February, the temperature go below 10 degrees centigrade. I think uh, when I was there, it's around seven degrees. So imagine seven degrees is sufficient enough to cool the area being served by the air handling unit, okay? Now, uh, so that we are have here a modulating control for the dampers. Then during summer, the temperature, let's say I'm talking of the car, the outside air temperature could go above 50 degrees centigrade, okay? So we don't want to introduce more uh, hot air in our uh, system. So we will, uh, our control logic program will situate that this uh, outside air damper or fresh air damper will go to the minimum position, okay? So that we will just uh, admit a certain percentage of outside air to be mixed with our return air. Okay, so that is the uh, concept why we have modulating dampers in our uh, air handling unit, okay? Now today's scope is to uh, simulate the initial starting of the air handling unit by starting the supply band and return band, but make sure some of the dampers will assume certain position to make sure that we will not uh, over pressure our air handling unit, okay? So when this one starts, air will go out of the air handling unit, okay? So now here, uh, I'm using the same control and monitoring points. What is important here is the uh, ra uh, Rahu time schedule, okay? So this time schedule, you know already what is the purpose of this. This is for conserving energy. Okay, then the plant enable command, this is the way the operator can interfere with the control, okay? He can turn off and turn on the equipment. Now, uh, if you are the programmer, you can write in your control that during uh, initial start or you can make the default of this plant enable to true. But for me, I make it, uh, the default value is off, okay? Then the auto status, okay, make sure your equipment is in auto before it will work on automatic, okay, let me check. Okay, so my motor control is working fine, okay. Now, uh, then I have here the damper command and opening and control, okay. Now, now I will not uh, simulate or demonstrate some of the points because I've just started in my first control logic program, which is to start these two fans, okay. Now, let me show you uh, because my program, okay, my program, my control program is already working at the background, okay, 
meaning it is already uploaded to my automation server. Now let me start my plant. Okay, so all I need to do is enable it. So I'm the operator, I will enable it to okay, get through. Then what will happen when you enable it? What will happen? My control logic program will try to open first the necessary dumpers. Then when it is open, then that's the time. After some time delay, I will be starting my fans. Now I'm not starting at the same time these two fans. There's I, I put some time delay because the uh, you can put a, lit, uh, a, a little amount of delay between the turning on of these two fans. Now the idea for that one is you don't want to create uh, even though maybe you are implementing SOP starting Y Delta or you have a VFD for this. Even though <clears throat> you have SOP starting, you don't want to start these two big fans at the same time because you don't want to create a sudden voltage drop okay so i want to create a gap between the starting okay this is one play uh, this is one uh, practice to not put so much in rust current to your motor control okay so that is the idea why i put some time delay okay anyway there's no problem if my return fan will start three seconds after my uh, supply pan starts, okay? So again, so let me put it in, I will enable it, okay? Now it is enabled here, as you can see here. Okay, now my, my damper, my command for my damper is to open, okay? Now I have given a command for this return air to open also. Now it is open. Then uh, I tried to open my outside air initially at 50%, almost 50%. Likewise for the mixed air, 50%. Now guys, for the these dampers opening, you can always uh, coordinate with the mechanical people who are uh, checking or who is responsible for the uh, air balancing because they will be the one to give you what will be the, uh, as you can see, I have some time delay, okay? They will be the one, the mechanical engineer will be the one to give you the uh, air balancing. Now they will tell you, okay, you can open this much, this mix air like this, like this, and like this. They will be the one to give you, okay? No, but if they will not give you, then you can assume some, uh, you can assume some initial position, then you can check the air handling performance, okay? So as you can see here, uh, as I see my control logic program, uh, behaves uh, correctly, okay? I, I can say correctly, okay? Now, this is my initial control, as you can see. After these dampers assume some uh, opening and this one opens 100%, then that's the time to start the supply fan. Then after some time delay, I'm starting the return fan. Then you can put some animation for the operator to see what is really happening in the site okay because the engineers or the chip maintenance engineer will just look at your graphics so that he will be able to understand what is happening in my recirculating around the unit okay so this is my uh, initial uh, control logic program developed for this recirculating and handling unit so let me turn it off let's see what will happen okay false now, in my next tutorial, I will show you some of the safeties and some of the, let's say, we will do the valve control, okay? And update some of the field devices if we have some temperature sensors in my laboratory, mini lab, okay? So everything will be in uh, initial position, okay? So all dampers closed. Okay, then my status here, my command is closed. Then I will wait for some time. This status will, this, this damper will be closed also. Okay, because it's still open, the damper. Now, because this is an open close. As I said, there is some time that I think this damper will open and close or it will return the status within maybe 30 to 45 seconds. Okay, so let's just wait. So that you will see. Anyway, uh, my fans are already stuck. Okay. So, guys, uh, 
again, I'm inviting you to be part of my, uh, or to be a member of my YouTube channel because I am explaining all these things, especially the control logic program and the bindings and everything. Okay, it's already closed. Everything in my membership, uh, part of my YouTube channel. These are for the detailed uh, discussion for members of my YouTube channel. Okay, but if you don't want to be a member, then I have free tutorials, okay? No, but for those who are really interested in joining this field of engineering, you can, I'm inviting you to join so that we can discuss whatever problem you have in your uh, project or if you are handling a BMS project. So once again, thank you for joining me and hope to see you in my next uh, video tutorial. Before I will end this, uh, I always say, God bless us all and let's all be safe and bye for now.